Well, we have an atmospheric river aimed right at us, and it's a classic, as a matter of fact. It's what we used to call a Pineapple Express, but we have the new name of Strong Atmospheric River. Let's take a look at that. This is a beautiful example of a strong atmospheric river. You can see we're up here in the Pacific Northwest and track it all the way down, this moisture source all the way down into the subtropics. In fact, if you look closely, there's the Hawaiian Islands. So this comes down just north of them and ends up at the same latitude. So it's bringing that subtropical moisture directly up into us. So a pineapple express, people did say you could smell pineapples in it occasionally. I don't think that I've ever experienced that, but you can see it definitely stretches across there and just like a hose stretched out and pointed at us and moving up and down the coast. We take a look at the modern uh, technology, the AR scale from Scripps Institute down at the University of San Di University of California in San Diego. You can see the AR scale up here. AR1 is a weak to moderate to, as is two. Those are normally beneficial. Sometimes AR3 is beneficial. Sometimes it can cause problems, but four and five are strong atmospheric rivers that bring a lot of water into the west coast and can give us the flooding, which is what we're seeing now. So atmospheric rivers come in different flavors. Basically, AR1, 2, and usually 3 are beneficial. They actually bring most of the water that comes to the west coast of the United States, so important in fighting drought. But you get into 4 and 5, and so much water comes with those that we do have problems with seeing that flooding, and that's what we're dealing with this week. The good news is things will be drying out a bit as we head towards the end of the week, and we'll get back in a more normal pattern that gives us rain, but not so much at one time.